Welcome to the Righteous Builds YouTube channel. Today's goal is to see what that 24 inch subwoofer can do. Now, my DATS is still down, so I don't have any DATS data for you, but I did get some REW data, which pretty much tells the whole story. Now, the 24 inch subwoofer is sold. The new owner is absolutely loving it. He's finding out what this thing can do. Now it's time for you to find out too. Hope you enjoy the video, guys. Here's something really interesting. I'm gonna pull up the online tone generator. Give it a little, little bit of volume here. It doesn't chuff, it won't. I can't make it chuff. So, let's see, here we go. Okay, 34 hertz. Watch the ports. Listen to him. 27 hertz. 24 hertz. There's no chuffing. A lot of rattling from around the shelves and everything. These things won't chuff. 23. 22. 21. 20. You think that's chuffing? It's not. It's stuff in the garage rattling. 19. Watch what happens at 17 hertz. The entire garage wakes up. <laughs> but it's not chuffing. Nothing. More rattling. Garage doors are waking up. Everything's lighting up, but no chuffing. 15 hertz. I can feel that flap in my pant legs, but it's not chuffing. 14 hertz. Okay, everything just quieted down, but guess what's not chuffing? They don't chuff. It just won't do it. Very, very interesting. Okay, that was fun. Let's do some music demos. Okay. Everybody asks me what this song is called. This is Singularity by FPSZKY. I've had thousands of people commenting, what is this song? Anyway, Singularity, FPSZKY. This thing tends to light the whole garage up, so you're gonna hear a lot of rattling, but let's hear it. Before we get too much more into the performance, I was reading the, through the comments on my last video. There were some legitimate concerns about the fiberglass insulation that I have in here. And I researched it and yeah, there's some legitimate concerns there. So I'm gonna actually pull this out. I'm gonna replace it with rock wool, which is a little safer, at least for a ported sub application. So let's get that done right now. Rock wool is installed. It's not as pretty but it's inside of the sub and it's safer and healthier. So to tell you the truth, that's what I care about. Okay, there we go. Now, just like last time, I am not installing anything down in this area. I, don't, I really don't think it needs it. There's plenty of geometry down there to break up standing waves and I, I'm not worried about it. It is now properly damped. Let's put this thing back together and run some tests. Okay, here's what I'm noticing. This girl is energetic. She'll flap your pant legs at 15 hertz. And I'm kind of noticing that there's a difference in sound between the fiberglass insulation, which is now piled up on the garage floor, and the rock wool, which is now inside of it. I kind of like the rock wool sound a little bit better. It's a little bit more full. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm just hearing things, but I like it. It sounds better. And it feels better because I know that it's safer and healthier. Okay, let's do some REW tests. Okay, I got my little mic set up. 
computer. Now, I keep hearing that the standard distance to test at is two meters. And bear in mind, we are in the garage. It is huge, it is open. It's probably gonna eat a lot of the base. Um, this is not an in-room setup. This is, I guess you could call it semi-anechoic, even though that's not accurate. But let's see how it sounds, even though that's the case. Here we go. Okay, no sign of compression whatsoever. Um, the target was 23 hertz peak. I'm getting a peak right here at 24.2 hertz, right around there. Okay, I'm gonna keep on going. Yeah, I'll get a few of these on film and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Still no sign of compression, smooth as ever. Okay, let's just keep going. Little update, we are still as regular as ever. No sign of compression. I'm almost at the limit of what these little clips can do. <laughs> so I don't really wanna run it all out, all the way out anyway because it's a brand new speaker. I wanna break it in before I really beat on it. But let me just go. Okay, we're about as high as this thing will go. Volume all the way up. Listen to what the garage sounds like. Yep, everything's a shaking. Okay, that was that was everything it's got. The subwoofer has way more in it. Uh, we are peaking at about 24 hertz, 118 decibels, and it seems reasonably flat. Um, we got what looks like untied shoelaces down here, <laughs> which is to be expected. You you always have a lot of chaos and confusion down here unless you have a super super low frequency designed subwoofer that can they can uh, stay regular down there. Anyway, so starting at roughly about 11 hertz, performance is pretty good. And again, these little clipches, for some reason, and maybe it's my garage too, but it cuts off at 60 hertz and that's all she wrote. In-room response, my prediction is that this flatness right here is going to continue. So in-room response is actually gonna be very good. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's where we're at. Okay, and as you can see, from it's got very decent authority from roughly 14 hertz up to 60 in this setting. Like I said before, I'm willing to bet that it's gonna go all the way up past 100 and stay very nice in room. Okay, well, there you go. Let me get a few more music tracks on there for you, and uh, we're gonna wrap this thing up. Let's get some bass, I love you. I was just playing it, I can feel it from here. Again, I'm out in the garage, and the, you'll notice the garage doors can fill it, all of the shelves can fill it, and it is energizing everything. Here we go. Okay, like I said before, I can't get these ports to chuff. I couldn't do it at its peak output. I couldn't do it in the lower frequencies. These ports won't chuff. <laughs> That's a very, very successful port design. Okay, let's get some current shaker on one more time just to see if I can get it to make any noise at all as far as chuffing goes or any, anything that's not supposed to be heard. I know you're gonna hear all the shelves and the garage doors shaking like crazy, but I just wanna listen to just the sub on that particular song. cardboard here but nothing no poor chuffing whatsoever I can't get him to chuff <laughs> okay I think that's a wrap 
let's go ahead and cut things off here. All right, we're filming this one old school with the cell phone because the cell phone does really good on bass. All right, well, she is a beauty. She sounds so beautiful and clean. I, I can't get it to misbehave. I guess I can't be sad about that. All right, thank you very much for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great day. And remember, if you build it and it's cool, that's a righteous build. See you later, guys. Have a great day.